Hello, and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the Unlucky Series 13 overview. This is the opening video. I'm just going to show the short product range that is going to be upcoming in Series 13. Now, yes, the last series was Series 15. What I did was, when I got to Series 12 and was going to the next one after, I skipped 13, sort of like I do in the product lists for longer series, uh, and went to 14, which then turned to 15. But then I got these. And I thought, hey, you know what? I'm not going to take up a number, an, a, a, another number after 15 with these. I'll just slot them in the 13 slot. So this is series 13. Sago. So, I had these shipped down to me by Dirty Pat Walsh. He was kind enough to send these down to me. And... He will be to thank for the three reviews in this series. Um, he will also be to blame for whatever may have transpired during this. I'm kidding, Pat. No, <laughs> I just saw Pat go. <laughs> uh, these products are not going to be good. Okay. Uh, I know that. Pat knew that. But for completeness of the product ranges on this channel, I have decided to do these anyway against some warning and my own better judgment. So, number one will go to, I will be actually doing sort of a backwards working deal. Normally I'd start with the original. But instead, number one will go to the flavor that is most likely to cover whatever rancidness is going on in the background. So it will go to Sago Winter Green. Number two will go to Sago Mint. And number three, with very little or no flavoring, except for the tobacco goodness, that is Sago Original. So, and then that will be it. And no, I don't know if there are any other Sagos. Hopefully that is them all, all three of them. Because from what I've heard, there's no reason to really expand the product range. These products are actually made in the United States for the Six Nations. Uh, in fact, I will read it off the can. Um, made in the United USA for Grand River Enterprises. Six Nations LTD. Unpronounceable name, but most likely native Ontario. So there you have it. That is Sago. It's coming. Not tonight, though. I'm, I'm going to hold off until tomorrow. Although, now that I'm looking at them, I'm starting to wonder if giving myself extra time to think about this beforehand might not be the best idea. Anyway, I am the suit and tie dip and shoe guy. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with Sago Winter Green. Do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless.